Hello viewers, this is Riyaz Ajit. Uh, today with me um, Lars Veraj. Uh, he is the president of Danish uh, Journalists Union. So I would like to talk to, he, talk to him about the uh, position and the workings of this uh, union. Thank you very much Mr. Lars, you gave us time. Uh, first of all, I would like to know uh, what is the aim and object of your uh, union? Well, we have uh, two uh, general purposes. Uh, one is uh, to <clears throat> to maintain and to uh, broaden the uh, freedom of speech and the uh, freedom of the press in in Denmark, and uh, the other one is uh, to uh, to uh, get to to secure and uh, to get a better uh, uh, payment and and better uh, conditions for our members uh, when they are working uh, as journalists as photographers. Uh, so that what, is the uh, main purpose. What kind of a struggle you have to do in your country for the freedom of press and freedom of expression? Well, I uh, would say it's uh, it's uh, the same struggle that goes on in <coughs> many countries in in Europe uh, these uh, these days in this period, uh, because uh, government uh, and legislation is uh, is trying to. Uh, to narrow uh, the freedom of, of the press, uh, they will cut down on the public service media. They will try to uh, to put more pressure on on the journalists and on the media uh, compared to what we have seen for many years. So, government of the, every country is doing the same work as being done in your country. It is nothing new. Uh, can I ask uh, what kind of pressures government put on the owners of the newspapers or the media owners? In Denmark, we just uh, <clears throat> last month there was a new uh, 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 a new law is coming uh, on the media in Denmark, and uh, it will cut down the public service media with uh, 20 percent uh, over the next four years, five years. Sorry, over the next five years. <clears throat> um, and uh, it will uh, also change the way that the media will uh, be supported from the government. Uh, in Denmark, it is so that all the media is uh, supported financially uh, uh, due to some uh, legislation and due to traditions. But uh, but now the the, the government uh, is uh, is changing this uh, over the next uh, years. So we have seen uh, a lot of things uh, coming up uh, and uh, a lot of uh, politicians and a lot of parties uh, trying to, uh, to cut down on, on the media in Denmark and uh, we fought uh, against it uh, but uh, we must say that our fight has been uh, not so successful. Um, so we uh, will see over the next, the next years that uh, some of our colleagues will be uh, Sacked will be out of job because uh, they, uh, the 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 media houses, uh, public service media, the newspapers where they work will undergo some changes due to this new law that uh, has been uh, settled. Uh, do you think uh, on this uh, on this point, uh, opposition and the government is on the same page? Sorry, that this. Uh, uh, the uh, reduction of the media, as you said, the, the private media, they are going to re reduce the private media. On this point, on this agenda, uh, the government and the opposition are on the same page. No. Oh. Uh, this, this law, this uh, agreement, political agreement, uh, was, uh, was made with, uh, with the narrowest uh, majority that, that is uh, possible in the Danish government, in the Danish parliament, sorry. Uh, it was only the government and its uh, supporting party, uh, and they have uh, one or two mandates more than than the half. So there was a big opposition against uh, this uh, this new agreement, uh, but uh, but there was a very narrow majority uh, on the side of it. So, uh, do you think some politicians of the party are in your favor, and they they will support you uh, when it the need arise? Well, the <clears throat> the challenge here is that uh, that this uh, deal is made for the next five years, so it will be uh, quite difficult, I think, uh, to uh, to reopen it after the next election. There will be an election in Denmark uh, to the parliament uh, in, in in a year's 
before uh, the, in the in the next year we will have an uh, an election to the parliament, but it's uh, difficult to say that that this will lead to a new government. It's not it's it, it's uh, it's very difficult to say which way the the next election will go. And if there is a new government, it's not uh, it's it is not a certain thing that they will change this uh, agreement uh, on the media. Okay, uh, how many journalists you have in Denmark, and how many associations are joined with you? Well, we uh, we are the the the, the association, or we are the union that is uh, that is uh, organizing journalists and other people working in the media, and also with communication. We have uh, eighteen thousand members in in our union, and I would say seven thousand or eight thousand of them are working as journalists. Uh, rest of them are what are they doing the rest of them are working uh, either they are studying a lot of uh, our members are, st are students uh, who are taking the uh, education who are taking uh, okay your, uh, your, what is the criteria of membership in your uh, union uh, you give well, membership to students or as well uh, if you are studying uh, journalism if you are studying uh, Uh, photojournalism. If you study uh, on certain uh, educations where you can uh, where you can uh, learn uh, communications, uh, you can be member with our uh, union. And we therefore have uh, around one uh, one fifth or one sixth of our members uh, are, are students. Uh, how many foreigners are your uh, members if they are studying in your country? The number of foreigners, I'm not sure about it. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't, uh, I don't have the exact number, but it's uh, it's not so many. Uh, it's not so many, but you allow them to get membership uh, if they are studying media. Yeah, if they study uh, media in Denmark, they can be members uh, with our union. Doesn't matter whether they are uh, Danish citizen or not. Not to become a member of the union. If 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 you uh, qualify for being a member, uh, then you can be a member even if you uh, are not a Danish uh, citizen. Uh, if you work in Denmark, if you uh, have uh, the, the skills uh, or if you have the education, uh, then you can be a member of our union. So, uh, do you allow them uh, to work with you? Uh, and uh, what is the standard of payment in your country to journalists? Uh, journalists in Denmark earn uh, well. We have the Danish corner, but I will try to uh, I'll try to find out what it is in euros. Uh, in in Denmark, a, a journalist will uh, will earn around four thousand five hundred euros per month. Uh, that is uh, that is uh, the uh, that is what is uh, the uh, Uh, the common uh, salary around that four thousand five hundred euros. Is, it is uh, easy to, to live with this salary. Is it easy to live with this salary? Uh, it's okay, or it's very low. No, it's it's okay. It's a good. It's quite a a, a good salary. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, some of our members uh, earn uh, more, and some of them earn a lot less. But uh, but if you take the whole the whole group of members and divide it, then uh, the uh, the uh, The average will be around 4,500 euros. So that's a quite a good salary in Denmark, but it's uh, it's not very high, but it's not very low. You said around 7,000 uh, journalists are working in Denmark. Uh, how many of them you think, after the implementation of that law, which you were talking about, they will thrown out? Well, it's it's very difficult to say because we haven't seen the uh, the plans for uh, for. Uh, For the public service media, for instance, uh, what will they actually do? How will they, uh, how will they work with this uh, new law? But but when we see, uh, I reckon there will be some hundreds uh, that will be, that will come out of job uh, one way or another over the next years. How so many of them will be thrown out of the uh, jobs? You don't have any idea of that, exact idea. Well, I would say uh, some hundreds will will some get. Uh, will, yeah, some hundreds. If what will your union do if this happens? 
Well, we will uh, try to help them find other jobs. We will uh, try to to help them uh, get some uh, uh, education, some uh, courses, uh, make them uh, perhaps uh, see uh, other possibilities. Uh, some of them will perhaps have been working with the, the media house that they uh, that they will be. Uh, they have been working there, for instance, for 10, 15, 20 years. So perhaps they need to to have their eyes uh, opened, so to say, to, to see what other possibilities are there when I cannot work for... Do not go for any protest if uh, such type of things or such type of uh, uh, oh, yeah, laws implemented in your countries? Uh, we, we, we already protested, we already tried to, to get our, our words heard by the uh, politicians. And of course, when when the plans will be uh, will be uh, materialized uh, over the next months, then we will uh, see some protests. Of course, we will. Um, but uh, <clears throat> we cannot say uh, right now if we want to protest. But it will it will be some of one of the possibilities is a protest. Yes. What are the ways of your protest? Is it very uh, very peaceful? or sitting on a side or making some noises in the country? Well, some, some protests will be that <clears throat> we have seen over the years that when things like this happen, uh, the, the members working in, in this uh, certain media house, they will uh, go on strike. Um, we uh, also protest by uh, doing some uh, chronics, uh, doing uh, uh, debates uh, in the public uh, area, uh, trying to say that this is not good. Uh, so we have, of course have uh, various uh, ways of, uh, of protesting. We have uh, various ways of getting our voices heard. Okay, uh, what does in this situation, in this type of situation, what does the uh, International Federation of Journalists uh, do for you? Well, uh, at the end of May, I think it was, or in the beginning of June, we were at the meeting in the European Union of Journalists, and uh, they, uh, <clears throat> there were certain motions uh, that uh, that were uh, that were uh, met with a big uh, big uh, applaud from 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 the delegates uh, to to take a stand against these cuts in the public service media. It also is uh, things that you have seen in other countries, so uh, across Europe. And I reckon also, uh, if it was in the, the IFJ uh, uh, sector, there will be a lot of uh, a lot of uh, positive response from the other federations and from the international federation. Of course. So we have a lot of a lot of backup from the IFJ and from the European federation. Can you stop government to do uh, protest or uh, after your protest or pressure from IFJ or European Union of Journalists? Uh, is it possible the government ch can change its mind? To comment on on on, on that uh, protest, or what do you mean? I mean to say, after the, after your protest, uh, can, do you think government may become under pressure and they can change their mind? I think it's very difficult to see that they will. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's not realistic that the, the government will change uh, its mind on this uh, agenda. Uh, it's a liberal uh, right-wing uh, government in Denmark, and uh, they have uh, they have one of their key uh, political uh, targets is to uh, to cut uh, the public sector and to cut uh, the tax uh, level in Denmark, and they see this why, as a way. Of I want to know the reason why government is doing this. Is it happening all around the Europe, or is it happening only in Dan Denmark? No, it's it's happening uh, more or less uh, vital, or more or less uh, powerful. You see it uh, in in certain uh, in certain uh, ways uh, doing this uh, all over Europe, uh, in in a lot of countries over Europe, in the Nordic countries, for instance, uh, Finland, Sweden, uh, Norway. They have seen things like this in uh, Austria, in uh, in Switzerland. You see uh, things like this. So there is a lot of uh, debate. You had it in the United Kingdom as, as some two years ago, I think it was. There was a lot of debate about the public service sector and and a lot of uh, a lot of threats to to cut also the BBC and other 
Why, why, why the government is afraid of, uh, afraid of journalists? Uh, can you explain that? Yeah, no, I'm. I don't really. Uh, I don't really accept that they should be afraid of journalists because journalists do not have the government or the politicians as enemies. The journalists and the media work to uh, to clarify and to uh, and to be uh, critical uh, uh, observers of what is uh, going on in society. And government and the politicians also need this. But so I don't really see why uh, they find the journalists and the media as enemies. But that seems so. It seems they, they think uh, they think it uh, looks like it looks like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, what is your position at that time when it becomes very difficult to express your feeling? And I want to ask this question: uh, What do you understand by freedom of expression? If your news goes against your country, uh, do you think it comes or uh, lays down under the freedom of expression? Well, I think, uh, if I understand you correctly, I think freedom of expression is uh, perhaps the most uh, valued and sacred uh, uh, thing in, in, in a democratic society. If you do not have a freedom of expression, you actually do not have the, the, the full uh, democratic uh, society, in my even, view. Even if your expression goes against your country or the, against, your, against the interests of your nation, uh, you think uh, it should be given uh, and uh, if someone comes with that expression and it hurts the country's interest, it doesn't make any difference? Of course, there will be uh, always, in, also in Danish law and in other countries, you have laws where you of course have, a, have to, uh, to be uh, aware that uh, the national security is, uh, is not uh, put under threat. But we have uh, we have rules against this uh, and, and rules uh, that that in some ways uh, limitate the uh, freedom of expression. But uh, but it is our uh, view that that we should have have as much freedom of expression as possible. In Denmark, we have had a lot of discussions over this over the years. Uh, and our view in the Danish Union is that uh, freedom of expression is a key. Uh, value for, for democratic society. One thing more I'd like to know. Uh, today, terrorism is all around the globe. Uh, how do you treat when a, a news comes to you about a terrorist? Well, uh, the news should be, uh, should be told, I, th I think. Uh, I, I'm not sure what you want me to answer. I, I want to know how, what uh, idea you have about the terrorists and who think you uh, is a terrorist? Um, well, um, in Denmark over the years we have had uh, different uh, political uh, terrorists uh, and now it seems like the last, the last things we have seen in Denmark some years ago was more religiously uh, oriented terrorism, but I mean, why should you not tell about uh, terrorists and, and why, what makes them terrorists? What makes this uh, extreme uh, way of expressing yourself, uh, how, how did they come to this? So, of course, a news paper, uh, news media, uh, media houses should, of course, also uh, try to find out what is the up and down on, on the terrorism. Okay, uh, do you have extremist or terrorist, terrorist organization in your country? Do you think they are, uh, they are having some happens or they are having some uh, heavens here? As I'm, uh, as I'm, or as, as, as I have been uh, told, uh, yes, uh, there are some uh, environments in Denmark where you, uh, where they will be, uh, they are under uh, the, uh, uh, the pol police. Uh, what do you say? The uh, uh, they are under police investigation. That they the police will have an eye on them because uh, there may be some uh, some of these environments where you see uh, radical uh, things uh, going on. So there are some Danish uh, environments where the police is uh, having a close very close look at them. 
what do you do when uh, you think this uh, terrorist or this extremist may become harmful for the society? So we must inform the police and give it to the story in the paper or in the media. Uh, do you think uh, the threats are there uh, if for a journalist who are putting sort of some sort of news in the paper? Well, I think the journalists should be journalists. They should not be police officers. Uh, and uh, that means that uh, if you have a story about uh, a radical uh, movement that is uh, planning uh, terrorism, let well... Me, uh, let, me, let me clear my question. If you publish mm -hmm. a story against a terrorist or against an uh, extremist, uh, do you feel a threat or, or do you get a threat, from, a threat call from these elements? Yeah, the media houses in Denmark are, have, since uh, 2006 and 7, after the, uh, the Danish uh, uh, newspaper Jyllandsposten published uh, drawings or cartoons about Muhammad, uh, there have been a very, very high security level in the Danish media houses because the, uh, the, the media houses were under attack and there have been uh, planned... Uh, there have been plans to attack uh, the media houses uh, in the central of Copenhagen. So therefore, uh, the houses are held under very uh, strict uh, surveillance from the police because they want to secure the uh, news desks. Uh, do you think such type of cartoons must be published or may be published by the media groups which are harming or hurting uh, billions of people around the globe? Well, I think that must be up to the uh, editor and the news media uh, to to decide this. Don't you think you don't have any idea this sort of uh, cartoons, uh, they are publishing, uh, they are making noises, they are making distortion in the society or uh, around the globe? Well, my personal opinion, but I don't have a, I don't have a media to uh, to publish, so I'm not a publisher. What is your personal idea, what I'm asking? Uh, I'm asking Pardon? your idea, your views. In your views, what well, should I, happen? I would, as I told before, I think that uh, the, the most sacred uh, value in a democratic society is the freedom of expression. So if, uh, if, it's, uh, if it's held uh, necessary from, from the, the editor of, of a news media to, uh, to publish uh, drawings or to publish cartoons or to publish a story, that is, uh, that is uh, putting questions upon religion or politics or, or other things uh, in certain groups, then uh, within the frame of the, of the law, then they can do it and uh, they, are, they, are, uh, they, they can do that, yeah. Okay, uh, I again come to your association. Uh, what is your mm -hmm. uh, annual budget of your association and your president of your association when you were elected and for how, how long? Well, I was elected president in 2015, and then I was uh, re-elected uh, two years later in 2017. And uh, next year, uh, the period uh, is up again. It's a two-year period uh, that I am elected for. And uh, there is no limitation uh, around the number of periods. So actually, I can, uh, I can run and rerun and rerun if I want to. Members, for members, annual fee, and what is your annual budget, and how do you meet that budget? Well, the budget is uh, is uh, is secret. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, but uh, the annual fee is uh, is uh, just a second. Uh, I try to uh, to uh, to run it into euros. It's around a five thousand Danish kroner. That would be uh, uh, that would be uh, seven hundred six hundred fifty uh, euros per year. Do you have any uh, do you have any relaxation for students? Any? any yeah, relaxation? students. Yeah, students. Stu students and uh, and uh, and elder members who are not working anymore and uh, members who are not earning so much they uh, get a lower uh, fee. Uh, one thing is very important which I'd like to ask you and uh, would like to know your views on it uh, around the globe. The standard of uh, media or the standard of reporting uh, 
do you think it's uh, upgrading or it's uh, going to downward? I think the standard of reporting uh, is uh, is under pressure due to a lot of media houses uh, that that have uh, problems by uh, by uh, by earning much mo enough money because of uh, the media houses. Uh, the newspapers are not coming on print anymore. That the the, the, the the commercial income is uh, lowering. There's a lot of things that are pressuring uh, the media houses. So therefore, they have also we have seen in Denmark and also other world, other world uh, that uh, the number of journalists are going down, and therefore, of course, uh, the quality of reporting is a little under pressure. But uh, journalism in itself, uh, I see, has a bright future, but it is perhaps not in uh, in in the traditional. Uh, Media houses. It may be in other uh, in other places like blogos blogosphere and uh, and uh, and online reporting. Uh, what is the standard of uh, investigation reporting in your country? I think it's a uh, high standard. Uh, there's a lot of uh, groups uh, in the media uh, in the various media houses. That we have uh, specialized groups that will have the freedom to. To dig into uh, to certain aspects, uh, and they uh, they report on a very high level. I would say. Yeah. Do you have any training programs for investigative journalists or journalists working in war zones? Do you have any yes. training programs? Yes. Yeah, we have uh, within the union <clears throat> and in collaboration with the uh, with the em em employers, we have uh, we have uh, programs, we have uh, educational programs uh, that you can uh, go to. Uh, to get uh, better qualifications into uh, investigative journalism or to learn other things. So you arrange programs and uh, do you entertain foreign uh, journalists in this program? Uh, it's not the union doing it, but we uh, collaborate with the employers' uh, associations and uh, do it uh, in, 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 in the frame of, uh, of our universities. Uh, and I think yes, uh, sometimes they have uh, foreign journalists uh, going into the uh, programs too. Uh, normally, the, uh, the language would be Danish, but I think uh, there may be one or two of the of the, uh, of the uh, possibilities that will be with uh, with foreign language journalists also. Uh, what do you think? What is the uh, today media is uh, media has become a very powerful uh, element in any uh, society or any uh, state uh, even in the poor countries or the developing countries the media has become a very big power uh, what do you think what is the future of media in the developing country i hope uh, i hope it's a bright future but uh, but there as well, you have uh, problems uh, by uh, earning enough money as a media house. Uh, um, so, so therefore, it, uh, it 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 will probably face the same difficulties as uh, the the other uh, uh, countries, as I mentioned before. Um, I know that, uh, for instance, we in the Danish Union have had uh, some training programs and exchange programs with uh, unions uh, in the. In the uh, Middle East and in the African uh, uh, continent, uh, and I know that also some of the other European uh, federations have uh, similar programs where we try to to learn a little from them, and and they try to learn a little from us uh, regarding this. Uh, one thing is very important. <laughs> I would like to know more. Uh, what do you think? What do you do when you think when you when a story come to you about your journalist? And he's blackmailing anybody. Uh, what do you do then? Well, I, I haven't had such a story. Uh, I haven't had such a such a report to me personally. Uh, don't you think journalists in Denmark may be doing some uh, yellow journalism or doing blackmailing? No, I'm not. I'm not aware of it. Uh, we haven't had any uh, reports about that. It never happened in Denmark. Not to my knowledge, it may have uh, been some cases, but I don't really have them uh, in, in in the in the forehead. Uh, what do you what do you views uh, What are you, your views are about uh, uh, yellow journalism? Yellow journalism is 
Black what is that? Blackmailing, making money through journalism. Through illegal means. Well, I think, illegal I think there's, one, yeah, there, there's one way to make money out of journalism, and that is to earn your wage by being a journalist. And mm. being a journalist is not to, to blackmail both. No, getting money uh, against when when you have got a news, and against that news you are contacting a person if the news goes against him or her, mm -hmm. you ask them to kindly give me this money, I can stop <coughs> this news. So this is blackmailing or not? It's uh, It looks like blackmailing and uh, that's, uh, that's unethical and that's uh, not a decent way of uh, doing your journalism. So I would say if you did that, uh, you could not be uh, able to call yourself a journalist. Uh, to serve any agenda of government, is it uh, journalism? To make comments? To, to serve any agenda of the government of or any p political party, is it journalism? No, that's more like a communications office or something like that to me. And we also organize people who work in a, in a purpose of political party or, or in the purpose of a commercial institute or whatever. So, so we, we, we don't see that as opposition, but we see it as another way of, of doing a job than be a journalist. Uh, how do you recognize a person who is apparently a journalist, but insidely he is working for intelligence agency? Oh, I don't know. Uh, if, if we, we, uh, to my knowledge, it's not a problem. It's not a thing we know in Denmark. It never happened, and somebody working for intelligence agency and working also with you in the cover of journalist. Mm. It, it may have been uh, during the Cold War or whatever, but I'm not. Uh, it's not a thing that I uh, see as a, as, a, as a thing in Denmark. As can we do uh, two, two? Can we do two more minutes? Because then I have another thing on my agenda today. Uh, as a whole, what is the position of journalism in the European Union? Uh, and uh, after the uh, after the expel of uh, England. Oh, do you think it has some uh, some uh, bad impressions? Um, <clears throat> well, I think, uh, as I said uh, before, I think journalism is under pressure from from governments, uh, from uh, from politicians, from uh, from people who, who uh, hold power. Uh, it's like. Uh, yeah, you can look at the, the President of the United States as a person who is uh, always willing to say that uh, is to blame for everything that, uh, that is not going his way. And you see the same tendencies uh, also in, in, in European, European media and you know, in European societies and European countries. So, yeah, the journalism is under pressure, but uh, I think we will, uh, we will hold on. We have to hold on. Uh, what effect has made social media on journalism? Well, at least it 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 it's uh, it has uh, improved the speed. Uh, uh, journalism today is so fast and and is uh, so quickly uh, to be uh, to be uh, told uh, via the uh, the social media. So so therefore, the 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 the, the speed uh, is uh, is very high today, and that also has an effect on 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 journalism. Sometimes you forget to do uh, proper journalism because you have to do quick journalism. So, because of pressure of social media, you think this is happening? I think it's not a pressure, it's just a way that, uh, that we now, uh, that we now uh, get our stories uh, out in the world. Uh, 25 years ago, it was uh, with uh, the, the news uh, in the radio every hour, and uh, it was uh, with the newspaper coming every morning or every afternoon. And that was it. Today, you just uh, spread the news all over the uh, 24 hours of, of the day and every day of the week. So it's, it's just a much higher pressure and it's a lot quicker uh, tempo. It, it has, it has <laughs> deprived the quality of journalism. No, it has not, but it can, of course, uh, be a challenge if you want to, to do a thing quickly uh, more than you have to do it uh, Good and properly. Sometimes you see there's a, there's the, the, there was, there are mistakes making, 
that there are mistakes made which can seem to be because of the very very high uh, tempo of of the making of the story what is your view Breaking about, news what is your view about social media should it continue in the same way or it must be stopped because rumors are more uh, affecting the news i think social media is uh, is a thing that has uh, come uh, to to stay and uh, it, it will not uh, go away even if i as uh, as president of the Danish Union says it must go away. So I think we have to, and I think uh, when I look at, at the news uh, picture, uh, the whole picture, I think uh, that, that our colleagues are, are learning to uh, to use the social media in a good way to uh, to get some information via the social media to use in the journalism. So overall, I think it's just a new uh, a new way, a new habit should be formed. The whole world has become a journalist through social media. Do you agree yeah. that? Yeah, there's a lot of perspective in getting new members. <laughs> new members. <laughs> Will you offer <laughs> membership to of your uh, union to the person who is running social media? No, I think there should be a little more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> They are more That's good. Right. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much, Mr. Uh, Josie. You talked yeah. to me and uh, gave me an interview. Uh, we'll be in touch in future. Thank you very much.